Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel and to another installment of my Mrs. Halloween series. Today's look is obviously Mrs. Joker and I took my inspiration from an actual female comic book Joker character or a female Joker comic book character. <laughs> Either way, that's what I took my inspiration from. I will throw up some pictures of her so that you guys can see what she looks like in case you're not comic book fans like me. The things that I took from these pictures is that she does have a red lip but it's not like exaggerated like all the way up and then I also took away she does have like big blocky black eyebrows as you can see and I did not like that look so I wanted to switch that up a little bit. She has a really nice sharp cat eye like a wing and I don't see her wearing other makeup but this is like my version of a Mrs. Joker so I did take inspiration from this character but I wanted to also put my own spin on it so of course I wanted to exaggerate that eye look a little bit. I did want her to have more of a comic booky look though so I did go with like this exaggerated like double kind of line. I made my lower lash line a little lower so that it kind of just looks like the eyes are a little bit bigger. And then of course I put on really voluminous lashes. I got to break out my beautiful background. My favorite one. This is the first background I ever bought. Actually the other video that I used this in was the Jeffree Star Blood Sugar Palette and that's what I used today on the eyes. So that's so ironic but yeah it's my favorite background and I've only got to use it that one other time I think so I was really glad to like bring this thing out. I hope you guys love this look. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and comment down below and let me know which Mrs. Halloween look you would like for me to do next. Alright so the first thing I'm going to do is moisturize my face because I'm going to be putting so many products on it and the two things that I like to go in with first are the Tatcha water cream and then also the Tatcha indigo cream and I'm going to use this because it has a little bit of a blue tint to it and that should help cancel out any redness that I have. Not all of it but it does help cancel out some and it like calms my skin down. And then I'm going to prime my face with the Tatcha's Silk Canvas. For foundation, I'm going to go in with the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation in the shade 2 because I'm pretty pale anyways. I am putting my foundation on before I do my eyeshadow and everything just because I want there to be a nice base. I'm not going to set it um, until the end. That way if I need to add more because of fallout or anything, I can do that. So. For brows, I bet that you guys could not have guessed that I plan on doing the feathery strokes like always, especially in a Halloween tutorial because I feel like you can really get away with like over exaggerated brows. And so what I'm going to do is go in with gold first and this is a metal matte liquid lipstick by Kylie Cosmetics in the shade Lord. And then I'm also going to go in with the shade Equality by Jeffree Star. As always, the first thing I'm going to do is just take a brow pencil and kind of map out the shape of the brows that I want just to give me a little bit of a guideline. I'm actually going to go in with the NYX Liquid White Liner first just to give myself a little bit of a base and I'm going to use the Sigma E65 to do that. I'm just going to, I'm going to start out here and just kind of feather the brows up. And it's okay if we get out of control with them because we can kind of fix it. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the green shade. And then I'm just going to do the same exact thing with the gold. And then I'm going to go back over that green one more time. Okay, so I'm going to attempt to clean this up and then also set my eyes with the P.O.E.'s base. And then as a finishing touch, I'm going to take this NYX Viv Vivid Envy Green and I'm going to put this on a spoolie brush just like I did in the Beetlejuice video to run through the actual hairs because I want it to look like, you know, we actually have hair and I want it to be a little more 
I guess I wouldn't say natural looking because this, these are not natural looking brows, but I want them to be as realistic as possible. I decided to add another color and you can see I've already started here just because I wanted to see what it would look like and I'm actually taking the shade I'm Royalty. It's a purple shade in the Jeffree Star Cosmetics lipstick line and I'm not going to add a ton of this. I'm just going to try to break up this gold and green a little bit. So now we have like a little bit of a multicolored brow going on, but I actually kind of think that there's something really beautiful about the colors and the textures because that gold is like a metallic. Okay, I want this purple to be kind of, it has to be the perfect purple and what I think I found is the perfect purple is in the Jeffree Star Blood Sugar palette and it's this shade called Root Canal. It just reminds me of like the perfect comic book purple. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place my color right here in the crease and then I'm just going to blend it and I'm going to blend it in the crease first and then I'm also going to start in small circular motions. I'm going to blend it up towards my brow. I'm going to take this Sigma E55 shader brush and I'm just going to pack some of that color on there and then I'm just going to start patting it into my eye lid. I always forget to put the word lid on it because it's like, you know, I'm not <laughs> patting it on my eye. So after I have packed that on, I'm going to go back in with that first brush I was using and it's the JH34 and I'm just going to blend that out a little better. And then once I have that blended out on my eyelid, I'm going to take this clean Sigma E40 brush and I'm just going to use that to blend the edges a little bit better and to diffuse them. Okay, so at this point, I'm going to go ahead and put some black liner on the top lash line, like underneath the waterline. And I'm going to use this Sigma long wear eyeliner pencil i got this in my very first pr package if you guys haven't seen that video i will link it right here let me tell you what i used to do i used to take a black i don't recommend doing this at home just so i don't you know get in trouble but i used to take my black eyeliners and i would like lot take a lighter and heat them up a little bit so that they would get kind of a little bit melty but just for like a split second so that it would like be super creamy and go on like super black this pencil i feel like it does that for me and i don't have to light it <laughs> i don't have to set it on fire to get it to do that i just realized like how chapped looking how chapped my lips look and i hate that you guys have had to look at that this whole entire time so i'm gonna try to like throw on some kind of lip balm or something okay I'm gonna go ahead and draw on like the cat eye like the wing and to do this I'm gonna start off using eyeshadow like a black eyeshadow just because I do want this to be diffused and kind of soft later on and so I just kind of want to get an outline with this first so I'm even gonna go kind of a little bit longer than where my actual line stops you don't have to go in with that black shadow first it's not necessary I just when I started doing this eyeshadow I thought that uh, like having a different vision I even thought about like smoking this black on up through here with that shadow but I have a really bad tendency to just go overboard on everything and sometimes I'll tell myself like hey if you had stopped right there that would have looked a lot better so I'm trying to listen to my own advice this time so I do want my character to have more of a comic booky kind of like slanted eye look so I took some inspiration from lipstick Nick and if you guys don't know who she is then you're really missing out because she is awesome so I'm gonna go ahead and try to explain what I just did if I can the first thing I'm going to do is go back in with that weirdo shade and I'm just going to try to give myself a little bit of an outline. I'm going to take a MAC 211. So I just want it to kind of dip down and then I want this to just kind of dip down and mate it. Then I'm going to go back into this root canal shade. 
so I kind of you know want it to come up to meet my wing so I'm gonna go ahead and draw that on because that's like the easiest part and then I'm gonna start bringing it down a little bit right here and right here I'm gonna leave space in between the black that's why I wanted that as a guideline and I'm going to curve it around here now it doesn't have to be super clean because I can always clean it up with concealer but the less work I have to do later the better so I'm trying to be very careful about how I place this next I'm gonna go in with the shade called coma now I'm just going right over top of that and I'm blending it down just the tiniest bit I'm gonna go back into a black shadow and I'm gonna use that Mac 211 and I'm like with hardly any product I'm very 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 lightly going to place this like you can see how this looks darker up next to the edge that's what I'm gonna do and I'm barely gonna put any product so that it's easy to blend out now that I've done that I'm gonna go back in with that 515 brush without any product on it and I'm just very lightly going to blend that back and forth so I'm going to go back into that root canal shade and I'm just going to blend up underneath that. And I want my blend to come up and meet the cat eye. And then I'm going to go in with this shade called Cake Mix and I'm going to use that just to blend that out a little bit more at the bottom. Okay, so that is not at all what I had originally planned on doing. I was only going to use the one shade of purple on this side. So I'm actually going to dip into that coma shade. And I'm going to start laying it closer to the wing, like on the bottom part. And I'm going to blend it up to the crease. And then I'm going to go back into the root canal shade. And I'm going to blend the crease. And then I'm going to take the Sigma E25 brush and I'm going to go back into Cake Mix. And I'm just going to blend the top of this out some. I'm going to take this little Morphe M170-4SH -dash -dash and this P. Louise base. And I'm just going to carve this part out a little bit better underneath my eye where I wanted that negative space to be. And then I'm also going to use it to clean up that black liner a little bit, but I'll kind of want to get under here first. And then next I'm going to go in with the shade Glucose and I'm just going to go right over top of that concealer. So I'm going to go ahead and put lashes just on my top lashes for right now and then I'm going to cut up some and put them on my bottom lashes. I want the top lashes to be very dramatic and kind of over the top so I'm going to go in with the Lily lashes. These are the faux mink Miami lashes. Okay those are so over the top. Oh my god I definitely could not wear these in my everyday life because they just like swarm my eyeballs so I'm just gonna take a pair of lashes and these are in ain't real from velour lashes and I'm just gonna cut them up and um, attach little pieces to the bottom and I'm only gonna attach it um, to the top of the dark area that we shaded in so that it looks like that's like our new lash line. Okay, so I'm going to put a white liner in my waterline. Then I'm just going to take a clean liner brush and I'm going to take the NYX white liquid liner to get in between those lashes because I don't want it to look like there's a line there. I want it to be more believable. And then just to make this look the tiniest bit more real, I'm going to put bottom lash mascara, but I'm only going to do it on the ends of my lashes where it meets these faux lashes. And then out here, just the very tips of the lashes. 
where that line is. Oh my god, I've literally spent so much time on this eye look so far. So I really hope that you guys end up liking this. For highlight, I'm going to go into the Aurora Glow Palette and I'm going to choose this purple shade, of course. And I'm going to mix in just a little bit of this like water shade just to make it light. But I still want it to have like a little bit of that purple tint to it. Okay, so moving on to contour, I want her to have like really sharp cheekbones kind of like you know the comics she has a very strong profile and I have a very fluffy <laughs> profile so I'm gonna have to try to contour the best I can the first contour shade that I'm gonna go in with is in this Kat Von D shade and light eye palette and it's this middle shade called Lazarus and I'm gonna start by lightly dusting that around the edges like towards my wig and I've kind of pulled it back a little bit so I can make sure that I get up under there good. I know it looks kind of funky. I bring it all the way around. And then I'm going to do my cheeks. I'm going to kind of go down like how I normally would. But I actually want this to be a much sharper contour. So I'm going to take a different brush. I'm really going to carve that out. Now I'm going to kind of bring it up like this very faintly because she has like kind of like a boxy type of face and I don't have to necessarily go with that because it's not like I'm like recreating that character per se. I'm just using her as inspiration. I'm going to contour the nose a little bit. I'm going to go in with this Sigma Aurora face powder and it's in the shade Nymphia. And then I'm going to use highlighter. I want to give her a golden highlight and so I'm going to go in with the Amrezy highlighter of course. It's one of my absolute favorites and when it comes to a gold highlight this is like the best of the best. Okay, so next I'm going to do lips. I'm going to wipe off this lip gloss that I've been wearing. Okay, so in that picture, she she does have like a little bit of an exaggerated red mouth that just tilts up a little bit, but not a ton. Like it's not like a huge, huge difference. So I'm not going to make like this big. So I'm going to start off with this Kylie Cosmetics Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade of Mary Jo K. And then I'll go from there and see if I think that this works. I'm going to start with my lower lip and line them a little bit first. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is try to extend this up just a little. And I don't want very much product on my brush just in case I mess up a little. kind of hard for me to do this because where I have these creases right here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do the top of my lip. I have this scar on my lip right here. And the lipstick always goes down in there and creates like a divot. I just want to go ahead and get this all colored in because you know how these liquid lipsticks are. Like you don't want to mess with it after it dries really. And then I'm going to connect it, but not all the way to the end. Okay, I'm going to go back into the liner brush with the liner brush. And I'm going to kind of try to swoop this up to make this. I'm not going to lie, this doesn't look the best. This lipstick is streaky and I'm having a hard time getting it to look exactly how I want it to so I'm gonna clean it up a little bit with some concealer and see what I can do after that. Okay that's kind of how I want my mouth to look but it is still a little 
more patchy than what I would prefer so I'm gonna go over it with this shade called Red Rum by Jeffree Star. I'm gonna set my face with the Morphe Prep and Set setting spray. All right, that concludes this tutorial. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope that you really liked this look that I did. And if you liked it, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.